Hi, welcome. This is our video of Hispanic Heritage Month. Last week we made chorizo con papas, and the week before we made beans. They were really good. Mm -hmm. And this one will be even better. I don't know what's better than chorizo con papas. But well, you have your peanut butter and jelly. In Mexican food, the other half of beans is rice. rice beans baby. and rice. It's every side for most dishes. Is that what you so think? So we're going to teach you our version of Mexican rice. We call it sopa de arroz. Sopa means a little tricky because it's not actually a soup. Mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, flavored rice and it's delicious. Yeah. It is because at the beginning you have to boil the rice with water, so that's why it's kind of soup. Ooh, mommy! Because you have the flavor in the pot, the rice in the pot, you have the water in the pot. So let's start getting cooking. Yeah. So for our sopa de arroz or Mexican rice, we're gonna start in a pot. To make sure it has a lid. Oh, dang! And cook slowly. But surely, we're gonna add some olive oil ghee. Not too much. Oh no. Just enough to cook our rice. I've washed this and strained it. I'm just doing one cup today and uh, made sure that it is as dry as I can get it. Why? Because if it isn't, it's going to cause some excitement with huh? the oil that we're putting it in. And stir it to get all of your rice covered in that oil. Frying the rice in the oil will help you get it to bloom for a delicious fluffy rice. So you don't want to add so much oil that it's gathering. You see that? It's just enough to coat your rice. We're starting to get some color. You can see here. So keep mixing. Next, we're gonna add some diced onion for some flavor. And you'll add two to three garlic cloves. Mix to combine. Once your rice starts getting some color, we can add our tomato paste. Usually for one cup, I only add about a half to a third. This is a shortcut instead of having to blend cooked tomatoes. Onion. Feel free to add more if you like your Mexican rice to have a lot of color. Make sure you incorporate all of that tomato paste in all of the rice. Mix to combine. Once your tomato paste is incorporated, it's time to add the chicken stock. Oh, dang! You can add vegetable stock, of course, if you're vegetarian. This is uh, homemade stock that Edible Ed made uh, using some chicken bones. Oh, dang! So it's even better if you have homemade, but if you don't, you can use any chicken stock. It is a two to one ratio. Whoa! So if you're doing two cups of rice, you have four cups of chicken stock. Whoa. I'm doing one cup of rice, so I'm doing two cups of chicken stock. Whoa. Just make sure your rice isn't clumped. We're gonna add a little bit of salt because that chicken stock was insulted. But of course, you can never remove the salt. So make sure to incorporate a little at a time. You can always add later, you can't remove it. You can always add later, you can't remove it. Now that we've incorporated our chicken stock into our rice, the last step is to add some cilantro. I like the sprigs. The rice is going to absorb all of that liquid. So come back and keep checking and say goodnight. Mm. You're gonna lower your flame to low and let this cook for about 20, 25 minutes. 20 minutes later. Let's check on our rice. You see how all of that water has been absorbed by the rice? So now you just want to grab a fork and fluff it up. It should be soft. It shouldn't have a crunch to it. If so, it still needs a few more minutes. Mmm, perfect. Ready to plate. Who's ready?
ready for mommy and, and Emma Bites. Yep. My mom's turn. Going I'm first. gonna go first. Yep. Okay. Is this enough? Mmm. My turn. Isn't it fluffy? Mm. It's so fluffy. I've been making this for years, and it was delicious. But my mom reminded me of the secret, and the secret, as I've said during when we were cooking it, is to add. The secret is to add either boiling water or chicken stock, not room temperature. Isn't it yummy? Already had three extra bites. We like our garlic, so that's why we added additional garlic. It has a lot of flavor. It's just so good. That's why you don't want to overpower it. First, you put a little, I'm not saying a whole handful, I'm saying a little pinch of salt. A, long, a little bit goes a long way. And I'm not saying one speck. Don't exaggerate with me, okay? <laughs> Just put maybe a couple, like a little handful, like a pinch, right? I think we already walked them through the recipe. Well, still, don't <laughs> exaggerate with me, okay? Don't exaggerate. Mm -mm. Just like we uh, mentioned how you can make our beans vegetarian, even though they're not. Uh, this one you can just sub out the chicken stock for vegetable stock, mm -hmm. and it'll be vegetarian as well. Oh, dang. You didn't got anything to worry about. Got your back. Thanks for joining us for another week. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Hit the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Taco Bell. Bye. Bye. Can you do the left? Yeah. yeah. And say, who's ready to taste? Who's ready to... Tell me when you're ready. Why don't you feed me with that weird wooden fork? Come on. What? Can you get it there? It's so warm and yummy. Warm and yummy and warm and yummy. Okay, you guys ready? Who's ready? Uh -huh. We're ready. Tell us when you're ready. Yeah, we're, we're so ready. ready. Yeah, I've been ready. Sure? We've been born ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, well, this is the <laughs> intro, right? Put it down. Oh, we haven't done anything. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. So put it down. <laughs> Get to work. Try not to show my bandit. Oh, yeah. Let me check it out. Oh, mom, that's big. No, I have this one that hurt yesterday. I have this one, and then apparently you have another one here. And there's like little ones everywhere, so I don't know. Uh, I had a bleeding mom. And mixy mixy. Mix to incorporate. Although I have heard of the potato. It's going to absorb. The rice is going to. <laughs> Gee, Mom. What do you mean by that?